Delicious meals often incorporate unexpected pairings that work like a charm. Metroid, fans are used to being patient. Metroid Dread, on Switch is the first mainline release in the franchise since 2017's, Samus Returns, and the first original Samus story in over a decade. Moreover, Dread, serves as a direct sequel to 2002's Game Boy Advance classic, Metroid Fusion. Players have waited for years to see the conclusion of bounty hunter Samus Aran's narrative. Take pork chops and apples, for example, which recipe developer Kate Shungu describes as, a classic fall combination. Shungu created a tasty recipe featuring this duo, and she spends plenty of time revisiting vintage recipes on her food blog Gift of Hospitality. Shungu explains that this match is a total success because, the savory pork pairs really well with the sweet, tart apples. There's no shortage of ideas for baked goods that evoke the fall season, but Shungu's recipe for skillet pork chops and apples is a great option for a main course. Not only is this recipe tasty and seasonal, but it also comes together in under 30 minutes, which makes it absolutely perfect for any night of the week. Thanks to the rich flavors, a simple side dish is all you need to complete the meal. So, after all this hype, how is it? A lot of, Metroid, devotees will be happy to learn that, Dread, digs into the deep lore around Samus and her connection to the Chozo race. It puts a wrap on Samus' arc, but mostly acts as a follow-up to previously explored ideas. In, Metroid Fusion, Samus eliminates all living Metroids and the deadly shapeshifting X parasite is allowed to roam free. Samus is injected with Metroid DNA, the only predator of the X, and sent to track down and subdue the X on Planet State Route 388. For a different take on pork chops, you'll want to try your hand at this sweet and savory recipe. It also makes a deceptively impressive dish to serve guests without having to spend hours in the kitchen before their arrival. Gather the ingredients for skillet pork chops with apples first of all. Gather the ingredients you'll need for this tasty pork chops and apples dish. They are seemingly all destroyed in that game, but of course this is far from the truth. While, Dread, contains cutscenes, it is a, Metroid, game and the storytelling can be minimal at best and straight up confusing at worst. For starters, you'll need some olive oil to cook the meat in a skillet. Here is all the information you need to understand the ending of, Metroid Dread. How Samus Past ties into Metroid Dread hardcore fans may find the commitment of Dread to the deep lore of the Metroid timeline an absolute delight. But many players could be confused about what exactly Samus is. She's not, in fact, just a human in a suit. A great deal of pertinent Dread story information can be found in the Metroid manga. If you regularly use a different type of oil for cooking meat, then use what you're used to. Next, you'll need four bone-in pork chops, one for each portion. Originally published in the Japanese magazine Z, the manga was released from 2003 to 2004 and coincided with the release of Metroid Zero Mission, a remake of the original game that also took Samus back to her roots. When cooking meat, a generous pre-seasoning with salt and pepper makes a difference in flavor and texture. For the apples, you'll want to use butter to add richness and flavor to the fruit. It tells the origin of Samus as a child raised on the colony planet K2L. Once you incorporate some brown sugar and cinnamon, the aromatic caramelized flavors are especially highlighted. As for the apples, Shungu uses Gala, but she says, I recommend choosing your favorite apple. Many varieties are delicious in this dish. Finally, to add an herbal element to the completed dish, some chopped fresh parsley is the perfect touch. Cook the pork chops in a skillet set out a large skillet on the stovetop over medium heat, and pour in one tablespoon of olive oil. Once it is hot, add the pork chops to the pan. You may have to work in batches depending on the size of your skillet. Cook the pork chops until they have browned and cooked through on both sides. It should take about 3 to 4 minutes per side. Once you've cooked the four pork chops, transfer them all to a plate. Cover the plate with tin foil to keep the heat from escaping, and set it aside. Cook the butter, apples, brown sugar, and cinnamon in the same skillet now that the meat is cooked, you're ready to move on to the apples. Without wiping it out first, melt two tablespoons of butter in the same skillet that you used for the pork chops. The flavors from the meat will add an extra element to the apples that you won't want to skip. With the pan on medium heat, add the sliced apples, brown sugar, and cinnamon to the butter. After a near-death experience where Ridley almost destroys the planet, Samus is brought back to Zebes by a tribe of friendly Chozo. 
the Chozo inject Samus with Metroid DNA and equip her with her now iconic power suit so she can survive on their planet. Cook the apples, occasionally stirring them for 5 to 6 minutes until they are tender. Pour the apple mixture over the pork chops, and serve once the apple mixture is ready. Transfer the pork chops from the plate to a larger serving platter. Pour the cooked apples on top of the pork, making sure to add all of the juices. She was raised and trained by the Chozo, explaining her abilities and why the statues scattered about the world she explores in the game give her power-ups. Samus completes her transformation the X from Metroid Fusion, eventually appear in Dread, and they play a significant part in the story and Raven Beak's ultimate plan. However, another critical detail from the Game Boy Advance title takes center stage. Chop some fresh parsley to sprinkle on top for a final garnish, and serve up these delicious skillet pork chops with apples. Shungu is a fan of the combination and notes, the apples have the perfect amount of sweetness to complement the pork chops nicely. For an easy side dish to go with this flavorful main, Shungu suggests, serving the pork chops with rice or mashed potatoes, with roasted broccoli on the side. If you have extras she adds, leftovers can be stored for 3 to 4 days in the refrigerator. 1 tablespoon olive oil 4 bone in pork chop salt, to taste pepper, to taste 2 tablespoons butter 3 large apples, sliced 2 tablespoons brown sugar 1 half teaspoon cinnamon fresh parsley, chopped, for garnish season the pork chops with salt and pepper to taste. Pour the olive oil into a large skillet over medium heat. Cook the pork chops until they have cooked through and browned on both sides, about 3 to 4 minutes per side. Transfer the pork chops to a plate, cover them with foil, and set the plate aside. Melt the butter in the same skillet without cleaning it first. Add the sliced apples, brown sugar, and cinnamon to the butter. Cook the contents of the pan while stirring occasionally for about 5 to 6 minutes, or until the apples are tender. Transfer the pork chops to a serving platter, and pour the apple mixture over the top. Garnish the dish with chopped fresh parsley, and serve immediately. Fusion, began with Samus getting an infusion of Metroid DNA into her body, allowing her to combat and absorb the X by the end of, Dread, this thread reaches its logical conclusion. Near the close of the game, Samus feels an uncontrollable power surge through her hand as she destroys the final Emmy. Adam, Samus's AI guide, eventually informs Samus that she has become completely Metroid. He also explains that the Chozo DNA Samus received to save her life as a child on Zebes was a mixture of both Thaha and Makin. This gives further context to a major exposition dump from Quiet Robe earlier in the narrative and is what makes Samus such a powerful being in the Metroid universe. Raven Beak reveals his connection to Samus before their rematch, the final boss battle of the game. Raven Beak reveals his true nature to Samus. He tells her that the Makin DNA given to her on Zebes in childhood was from him. It is, Empire Strikes Back, up in here when Raven Beak gives his grand, Samus, I am your father, speech during the final confrontation. During a mid-fight cutscene, the Chozo villain lays out his grand plan. Build an entire army of Samuses by cloning her DNA. Her combination of strong Chozo genes along with the growing Metroid side of her have come together to make Samus the most powerful Metroid ever to exist. Ravenbeak aims to achieve galactic dominance with an army made of these ultra-strong Metroids. When the X finally consumes him, it becomes the ultimate battle between the strongest Metroid and the strongest X to ever live. This is the epic conclusion to the 2D, Metroid, saga. Samus' final suit represents her new identity during her ultimate encounter with Ravenbeak. Samus experiences a surge of energy and her suit goes through a final visual overhaul. This suit which sports natural-looking spikes and glowing patches of green and red, is evocative of a Metroid. The spikes mimic the claws and the colors reflect the green and red of the typical Metroid Samus encounters in her adventures. It's Samus becoming full Metroid. In a last-minute struggle for life she activates her ultimate hidden potential. The transformation equips Samus with an ultra-powerful hyperbeam she uses to kill Raven Beak X and make her escape from ZDR. This follows the Super Metroid tradition of giving the player this final blaster upgrade to take out the last boss, via Nintendo Unity. Like, Fusion, Samus' final suit symbolizes her reaching her full potential and becoming the most powerful version of herself. In this way, Dread takes the best of both worlds to make something both new and nostalgic. The real Adam's surprisingly small role in Dread at the start of Metroid Dread, Adam. The digital consciousness of Samus' former commanding officer Adam Malkovich tells Samus he won't be able to reach her on ZDR. Yet, 
Throughout the game the player keeps getting navigational information from network stations on the map. So, what's going on here? In a surprise twist that is never addressed again, it is revealed that Ravenbeak was posing as Adam all along. This may be obvious to other M and Fusion players, since the controversial character is known for how he calls Samus Lady, something the Atom on ZDR never does. Fusion also pulls a similar evil AI twist in its story. The player doesn't get to see Samus talk to the real Atom after the main events of Dread. This leaves him strangely underutilized, especially considering the amount of effort that went into developing his character in Fusion and other M. The consequences of Samus Metroid DNA after defeating Ravenbeak and completing the escape sequence, a 2D, Metroid, hallmark, Samus returns to her ship to finally leave ZDR. Decked out in her Metroid suit, Samus attempts to start her engines. The real Adam warns her, in his last words in the game, that powering up the ship will drain all of its energy. This has to do with her Metroid DNA. Metroids were created as predators to absorb and destroy the X they are the top of the food chain, and will siphon energy from any and all nearby creatures if they can. That's what makes them such tricky buggers to kill in the original Metroid and its SNES sequel. It is this nature that would prevent Samus from flying her ship. What happens next is astounding. Resurrected from death by the X, Quiet Robe appears behind Samus and takes the energy from her. The Chozo, now free from the X, allows his spirit to be absorbed by Samus instead of the ship. Why exactly it works that way is unclear but nevertheless he touches Samus and she reverts to the gravity suit, still presumably with Metroid and Chozo DNA, but more powerful than before. Is this the end of 2D Metroid or the beginning? Will fans get another 2D Metroid? In a lot of ways, Dread feels as far as the formula can go. Regarding the future of Samus Aran, Nintendo's Yoshio Sakamoto claimed that, Dread, closes the book on the current story arc, though he promised this is not the end of the Hallmark Nintendo franchise. What I can say up front is that Samus' adventure will continue, Sakamoto said in an E3 interview with Eurogamer. How will it continue? Well, first things first, I believe that if and when you clear, Dread, you will have a clear idea. Beyond that, we will continue to work hard so we can meet expectations and keep surprising you guys with exciting gameplay experiences. Given, Metroid Dread, concluded on a cliffhanger with Samus as the last living Metroid, you can bet you'll see more from her. Where will Metroid Prime 4 fit in the Samus story? The next announced game in the Metroid franchise is another long-awaited sequel. Retro Studios, developer of the original, Metroid Prime, is working on the next entry in the 3D spin-off series that racked up as much critical acclaim as the 2D entries. When it was first announced at E3, Metroid Prime 4 Inches was being developed in-house at Nintendo. In 2019, Nintendo producer Shinya Takahashi revealed that the game had, not reached the standards we seek. The project was rebooted as a collaboration between Retro and the game's original producer at Nintendo, Kensuke Tanabe. No further updates have been given on the title, except for an acknowledgement during the announcement of Dread. Information on the setting, story, and gameplay has yet to be detailed. It's still not clear when Metroid Prime 4 Inches will release, but we do know Samus will be back for another adventure at some point in the future.